What is it, YouTube? It's your boy. Hey, yo, no, come back to y'all with another text nation. Hey, that's all. Y'all already know what time it is today. I'm coming at y'all with some updates of Houston, Texas training camp day three, four, and five. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the like. Let's try to get this video to 35 likes. I would really enjoy that. And guys, if you're new here and if you want to stay up to date with Houston, Texas training camp preseason, NFL season, Houston, Texas content, this is the channel that you want to be subscribed to. Go ahead and do that for your boy. Let's go ahead and jump into this, y'all. I'm not going to waste you guys this time. All right, let's do it. Now, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I'm just really hyped because for the past couple of days, the Houston Texans have been working, have been turning heads, and have been going to work for the city of Houston. I'm excited to see what the product looks like on the actual NFL field, man. Um, let's go ahead and jump into this. Like I said, for the past three days, Davis Mills has been going to work and been showing up and showing out for the Houston Texans. Um, from reports, beat writers, and everything, people who are actually watching this guy play, he's been working, bro. Um, past couple days, like I said, he's been having success, really just stacking days, getting better day in and day out. And from a lot of reports, he hasn't really been making bad decisions with the ball. He hasn't been turning the ball over. Um, from this guy right here, he's had <laughs> some amazing stats during seven on seven drills. He's been showing confidence, being efficient in the red zone. He went six for six with four touchdowns in the red zone. Also, another day, he went 11 for 14 with team drills and had a couple touchdowns. Four for five during 707 drills with two red zone touchdowns. This guy, Davis Mills, has been going to work. This is what we like to see. This is what we like to hear. I know when I went to Texas training camp, Davis Mills was actually playing lights out as well. Um, Davis Mills, if he doesn't see his first read open, his second read open, he's taking that check down. And me personally, I like check downs because you're still moving the ball. You're still moving the chains, and you're still keeping the defense um, hesitant to, to what, what we're going to do next. And not just that, the next guy who has been going to work, my personal favorite, Damian Pierce. He's running with the ones. He's getting the love that he deserves. I know back in Florida, he wasn't really used to his full potential. He only had 100 rushes per year at his three years at Florida. Um, this guy is going to go to work, and I really have a lot of confidence in this guy. Like I always say, I've wanted this dude since the draft process started, and it's amazing that he's finally getting the love that he deserves. Um, he doesn't have a lot of tread on the tires. He's ready to go. He's a bowling ball. He's one of those short guys, but has a lot of power, and he has some speed behind him. Um, past couple of days, he's really been turning heads. To, to reporters, beat writers, and even the coaches. He's been getting a lot of confidence from the Lovey Smith and also Pam Hamilton. Um, for this scheme, for this offense to really go to work, we got to have a solid running game. We got to take the pressure off of Davis Mills and the guys up front. Not just Damian Pierce. We need Laramie Tunsil, Titus Howard, Kenyon Green, Justin Britt, AJK, all the offensive linemen to go to work too and, you know, um, open some holes, open some lanes for this guy. Now, the next positional group that has been working and going to town for the, for the quarterback, for the team, it's got to be the tight ends, bro. The tight ends, Pharaoh Brown, Brevin, Jordan, these guys have been making plays day in and day out. And it's honestly pretty, it's pretty damn good because for the past, I believe, for the past four seasons, the Houston Texans have drafted a tight end in the draft. Uh, of course, <laughs> they've drafted tight ends from goddamn um, Jordan Thomas, Jordan Aikens, um, Brevin Jordan, um, what's that dude who we who we got? I believe it was two years. Um, damn, y'all let me know in the in the comments the tight end we got. Uh, he was a guy who I I thought who played Marco um, water polo bat, basketball background. Who I thought he would be somewhat decent, somewhat decent an athlete, but he really wasn't that good. He didn't turn out to be. Worth the deal. But y'all, y'all know. We, we draft a lot of tight ends the past couple years. And it'll be nice if the Houston Texans can finally, you know, have their tight end duo of the future. Or just whoever it is. I know recently Phil Brown was named the starting tight end. But, you know, Pep Hamilton's scheme, he runs two tight end sets. So, you're we're most likely going to see both guys on the field. And with... um. John Mechie going down, we're going to need 
some of our best playmakers on the field as much as possible. Now, playmakers being on the field, Houston Texans did just pick up Chester, um, Chester Webster, whatever his name is. He, we, we added him from the Tennessee Titans. He played with the Colts. He's been turning heads. He's been making plays. We just added him two days ago, a day ago. Um, and he's already on the on the practice field making plays. I, I love to see it, bro. The more weapons for Davis Mills, the better, bro. Now, speaking of wide receivers, two guys have been making plays day in and day out. I mean, we already know Brandon Cooks. He's a walking 1K yard receiver. The guy gets 1K yard year in and year out. If healthy, um, we already know. He's been he's been making plays on our quarterbacks. It, it is what it is. You know, that's, that's Brandon Cook. He's going to eat, bro. Cookie, he's going to eat, bro. <laughs> but another guy, the guy who I think we all want to see make plays this year is Nico Collins. The guy has been turning heads. He's finding, he's, he's looking like he's the guy that we wanted him to be last year. The guy who we drafted in the third round, uh, who we traded up to get. I'm excited to see Nico Collins to see if he can really turn into the wide receiver we drafted him to be. If he can, you know, I mean, Houston Texans have a history of drafting some pretty solid wide receivers. And it will be nice to see if Nico Collins can put his name onto that chart of Texan great wide receivers. You already know. But I know it's going to take some time, but I'm excited to see what this guy does this year. Big body has the size advantage. He, he's really a guy that can go up and get the balls. And he made plays last year. He really did make plays last year. He's making plays right now. So I'm excited to see, like, like I said. Now, my final piece of this video, if you made it this far, go ahead and drop the sub. I would appreciate that. Houston, Texas defense. Yes, they've been, I mean, I named a lot of offense, you know, in this, in this video so far. But defense have been making plays. A guy like Rasheem Green has been getting so much love from radio hosts, um, NFL personalities who, who have been paying attention to Houston, Texas training camp. A lot of guys have been saying Rasheed Green looks like a, a Terminator out there, a, a prototype, whatever you will. He's been turning heads, bro, and I'm excited to see we're excited to see what Rasheed Green does. Also, Obo, um, Double O, whatever you want to call him, he's been working too. Jerry Hughes, Mario Addison, those guys, the guys who we added during the offseason. They've been working, and all we really need, all we really want from Texas fans, I wanted two guys. I want a guy opposite of Jonathan, Jonathan Grenard to go go out there and ball out because we need we need some guys in the rotation who can play ball. We need guys who can play ball, bro. And not just these guys, but guys like Jalen Petrie have been making plays too. Jaylen, I mean, we, we all know, like, at the end of the day, Jalen Petrie's going to be a dog. We all saw that when we drafted him. Pre-draft, uh, goddamn, after the draft, <laughs> rookie mini camp, mini camp, all that shit. We already knew Jalen Petrie was going to be a dog. And also, Derek Stingley Jr. It, come on, man. It, it's just the guys who we drafted defensively, they're making plays. I, I also got to mention Christian Harris. All three of these guys from this past draft have been making plays, and I'm excited to see what they do, you know, throughout um, training camp, also during preseason. And, you know, I'm just excited to see what these guys do. It is day three, four, and five um, recently with all this news. So, hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you made it this far, go ahead and drop this up. Like I said, it's your boy, Illinois, signing off. Peace. Go Texans.